Alright, so the other day I finally uh, finished getting all my equipment in for my uh, my Cisco rack, my uh, CCNA lab. Um, the equipment here is probably going to follow me through to my CCNP, and then uh, I may have to get some more equipment after that if I go CCIP or, or whatnot. Uh, so I'll take you through the rack. Uh, what I have here on the top is a uh, Cisco 1841. Um, it's about uh, $190. Uh, I have two down here, which are the uh, the Cisco the are the 2801s. Uh, three of them uh, going for about $200 a piece. So I have about uh, $600 in the in those routers. For if you're interested in pricing, I'll go through that. Um, that is that this pricing is also includes uh, shipping through eBay is where I found them. I bought I bought uh, three WIC 2T cards for uh, for serial, so I can do the uh, the serial in the labs to go through my CCNA. Uh, down below for the the switches here, you'll see that I have uh, <clears throat> uh, two. 3560s. Uh, they're going for about uh, 263 bucks a piece. So I have about 526 dollars for these two guys right here. And uh, down below is a 3550, which I have for about 120. So that's about 240 dollars here. Um, all these switches here are layer three switches, so they can do routing also. Um, up top, I have uh, four sets of uh, DCE, DTE serial cables. And uh, since my laptop doesn't have the, uh, the serial, uh, I, I bought this serial to USB. So it's come in handy. Uh, what I'm probably going to do later on is uh, is get another little router that I can use as, a, as an access server there. Um, so I can... I can access each one of my routers through that, through Telnet, so I don't have to keep switching out uh, the serial uh, connectors there for the console cables. So as you can see, I have those uh, just brought up the side from the back. I have a whole whack load of cables here uh, that I've been saving up over the time. I've been getting them through school. I've been doing uh, computer engineering, but I've also been doing their networking program on the side. So uh, now I'm doing a uh, three year networking full time. Um, will be a little less than that since I have the uh, the uh, majority of the courses done and then I'll be going into uh, their last optional year of uh, network security, which is what I'm after my CCNA and CCNP security. Uh, I do have one more uh, hardware firewall that's uh, yet to come in. I thought I purchased it, but I put it on my my watch list on eBay. So I'm going to take my uh, ASA 5505 firewall and probably get the 5510. Seeing that I read online, that's uh, that's what's part of the, uh, the exam, if anything. So in total, including the cables, uh, not the uh, Ethernet cables in the back, including the serial cables, they're about $64. Uh, the rack itself is a 19-unit is a rack. I got that for about eighty dollars, and uh, most of the routers come with the uh, the rack mounts. I had to purchase two or two or three of them. I've spent like forty bucks. I'm sure you can find them much cheaper than that. But altogether, uh, if you're interested, um, this rack is about uh, seventeen hundred and forty dollars of uh, equipment right here. Uh, if you're looking into doing your CCNA, you can probably go a lot cheaper, like a lot cheaper. With the uh, the 2600 uh, model routers, the 2611 XM and the 2620s, you probably only need um, about two or three routers and uh, about two switches, which is going to save you the money. Uh, I plan to keep going with my certifications. That's why I've uh, bought a little higher end uh, equipment while I could, you know, just in case I didn't have the funds later. But uh, if I need to do anything in the in the future, like to add to it, it won't cost me so much then. So uh, I plan to to make a few videos along my way as I uh, go through school and then play around with my stuff on my my own time. Uh, I'll probably start off with a little basic uh, configuration router configuration for you guys and and stuff like that. So uh, so stay tuned. Yeah, just wanted to show you my uh, 
my new uh, addition to uh, my home network there. And uh, yeah, so oh, on a side note there, yeah, I'm gonna add my uh, my um, cable uh, DSL modem there or uh, cable modem and uh, route my home network later. Uh, they are a little uh, a little noisy. Yeah, more than I thought, so it's not something that you're going to want to sleep beside, seeing that this is in my bedroom here. Uh, I'll turn it on for you, and I'll get, uh, you can get an idea for what it sounds like, roughly. So I have everything uh, turning on, eh? you can hear the, the fans. Uh, I don't think it would be too bad if it was stuck in a closet, but uh, the ventilation there, things may get hot, so we'll have to see, but... Anyway, stay tuned and I'll uh, I'll make some tutorials there and uh, we'll see how things go.